think I can do it. What in the Lord's nation is that? After filming this video, I honestly have a newfound sympathy for babies. <laughs> anything different about me different about me different about me as sad as I am to say this the tattoos are fake I wish they were real but do I want to be disowned by my whole family no I know that a lot of people think that tattoos are trashy especially you know ones on your face but I don't know like I just think they're so like sick like, i just love them anyway sorry i got a bit distracted anyway back to the normal intro basically in today's video i'm going to be eating baby food for 24 hours not really sure what possessed me to do this it was in my note like i have in my notes i have a list of video ideas and there's loads of like better video ideas than this but like i don't know i just felt like today was the day to eat baby food for 24 hours so if you do enjoy me eating literal fetus food for 24 hours then please leave a like to show me and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, let's just get on into the video. I need to go to Sainsbury's to buy baby food because obviously I don't have baby food in my house. Um, so let's go do that. Oh, quickly, before we go to Sainsbury's. Ah, look at my Christmas tree. Hang on. This is my mini Christmas tree in my room. I've also got a big one in the lounge, but like I want to do a house tour to show you that. So I won't show you that. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go to Sainsbury's. Um, <laughs> I just came in here to get a reusable bag and look who's sitting in the sink. Uh, honestly, she always sits in the sink. I think it's her favourite place. Get a bag. I've got a bag because here on this channel we like to be sustainable, recyclable. I don't know. Oh, have you come to say hi, Riley? Give mummy a kiss. Bye, Riley. I'm gonna go buy some baby food. See you later. Also, if you're gonna say why is your cat on your kitchen like surfaces, it's kind of disgusting. Then I kind of know, but. I'm not very good at disciplining her because, like, she's my baby. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Sainsbury's. There's loads of, like, baby ready meals, which I didn't expect. Okay, right, I'm back. I'm going to show you what I got. First of all, can I just say, I didn't realise how much variety of baby food there was. So I was actually kind of impressed because I got... 10 items for £10.50, which is really good. Okay. Okay, right. Let me show you what I got. First thing I got is these organic gummies. Then I got tomato and basil melty sticks. This one says from seven months. Then I got... Then I got Kiddylicious Hummus Dip Dip. <laughs> which is that. Um, you know what I was thinking, like, this is probably going to be, like, the healthiest I've eaten in so long, because they have to make baby food healthy, don't they? Because they can't, like, kill off the baby. Obviously, oh my word, I don't know why I said that. If you take them out, that's what they look like. It's, like, breadsticks with, like, hummus. And I really like hummus, so, like, hopefully it'll be nice. Hopefully they won't be, like, taking all the salt out of it. Because I love salt. Okay, this is the first, like, proper meal of baby food that I got. Um, I didn't know that, like, they had ready meals for babies but like i found this ready meal um and it's i can't tell if it's focusing or not but it's green bean and lamb curry which is something i'd like anyway um so i thought i would just like try it it's basically if you like look it looks like it's just going to be like mush but at the end of the day curry is kind of mushy anyway do you know what i mean so i'm not that like sad about it then i got this apple and strawberry like puree then I got another puree, which is a peach puree. Then I got another ready meal, another baby ready meal. I think this is going to be a little bit gross, I'm not going to lie. It's a beef stew, like a beef stew ready meal, but for like babies. Do you know what's like concerning me most about these ready meals is that they weren't in the fridge. They were literally like on a shelf, like what kind of meat? It can't be real like beef in this because otherwise it would be in a fridge and then the last thing i got is these i actually have these sometimes anyway so that's everything i got down there it's actually lunchtime now and i haven't eaten anything yet which is actually normal for me like i always had i always start like eating later in the day but what should we start with i think i'm gonna start with these tomato plus basil melty sticks um i'm gonna have this but i'm also gonna have something else 
what should I have? I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have this. So this is gonna be like my little breakfast, even though it's like 12 o'clock. I always have my breakfast at this time. And if you're thinking like I bought a lot of food, then like I eat a lot of food, so sorry about that. Okay. Okay, right, so I'm gonna start with the tomato and basil melty sticks. This was in like the finger food section, because you know babies like eat food with their fingers. I don't even know why I felt the need to say that. Dun, 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 dun. They look kind of nice. Would you like one? Mmm. Yeah, these are kind of nice. They're nice, yeah, but they're just a bit bland. <gasps> do you know what I might do? I might go get that hummus. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that hummus so I can like dip these into the hummus. I'm really spicing up this baby food life, aren't I? Okay, so I've got my kiddie-licious word. Oh no. So let's just open the hummus. It comes with the breadsticks, but I'm not gonna eat the breadsticks from this. I'm just gonna eat the hummus. If I can open the bloody thing. Uh. I'm sorry, but what in the Lord's nation is that? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I've got a window next to you. I'm just gonna like tip the water from the hummus out of the window. I'm like ragingly disappointed in this hummus. Anyway, I'm gonna try the hummus just because like that's the point of the video is to try new things. So here we go. Ugh. Oh my word, oh my word. That might possibly be the worst experience my taste buds have ever encountered. I'm so sorry taste buds, you really didn't deserve that. Well, goodbye, kiddielicious dip hummus. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm, Sorry, I'm, I can't eat that. I'm just gonna keep eating these like plain as they are without that disgusting hummus. I'm gonna have like two more of these and then I'm gonna have my peach thing. And then that should fill me up for at least like, realistically, it'll probably fill me up for an hour. So let's crack open Ella's Kitchen Peach Puree and see if she's, you know, nice or not. Hopefully she will not be following in the footsteps of the hummus. Yeah, that's nice. It just tastes like, do you know what it tastes like? Um, innocent, those inno innocent, is that what they're called? Mm. Yeah, that is what they're called, innocent smoothies. Basically what I'm trying to say is it just tastes like a smoothie. So yeah, this is kind of nice. I wish it was bigger though. Okay, I've just finished that and I had half of the sticks, like I had the first layer of the sticks and I'm actually kind of full, surprisingly. So now I'm just gonna go like do what I need to do and I will be back when I'm hungry. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but honestly I'd rather die right now than open the curtains. I'm feeling really like drained because I've just woken up from a nap. Anyway, let me go get the food. Guess this is like my late lunch. Also, sorry about this top, I know it's kind of hideous, but I can't really be bothered to change it. So. For my lunch, I'm gonna be having the four Aisha green bean and lamb curry with lentils. Let's tuck into this green bean and lamb curry, shall we? It looks like cat food, but I'm not gonna lie, it actually does smell really nice. I'm just gonna pretend that it's just a normal, it's just a normal curry. I'm just gonna dig into my normal curry. No worries, be happy. Why did I just blow it as if it was gonna be hot? Maybe I should heat it up actually, hang on. Thinking about this. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness I didn't just start eating it. You have to put it in the microwave, okay. Um, I'm gonna go heat this up in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and it's hot now. Why, is this, why does this just taste like a normal curry but just like someone's already chewed it for you? That was really gross, I wish I didn't say that. I'm trying to make this experience as normal as possible so I'm like pretending that it's a normal curry. And when I pretend that it's a normal curry, it's not that bad. I know that this is kind of cheating, but I'm gonna go get some salt and put some salt in this because I feel like if I added salt to it, because the only thing is that they don't add any salt in baby's food. So if I add some salt to this, I genuinely feel like it's gonna taste like a normal curry. Okay, right, let's put some salt in this. 
if I go to Sainsbury's, you're not going to like catch me sprinting down the baby section to get this. Do you know what I mean? But if like, if like I went to someone's house and they were like, sorry, all we have left is this, I'd be like, fair enough, and I'd eat it. So, what I'm trying to say is I don't love it, but like, it's kind of okay. As ashamed as I am to say this, I finished the baby curry. Um, it was honestly kind of nice. Now I'm going to move on to my tomato and leek melty puffs. I think this is from the same brand as those, um, as those like breadstick things I had for breakfast. They kind of look like what's it. These tomato and leek melty puffs taste to me like how glue smells like prit stick glue that you use at school it tastes like how that smells and i'm really sorry but i just cannot hack it i'm really i'm not eating another one of those if anyone else wants some glue flavored melty puffs then help yourself but i'm sorry but i'm not having that so instead i'm going to be moving on to my organics goodies strawberry and apple gummies by the company oh oh i think the company's name is organics Go Go goodies um so Let's just tuck right in. I guess this is like my dessert, kind of. So, let's see. That's what they look like. They're just like little gummy things. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're really nice, actually. Let me tell you what's in them, because I just know that you care so much. In here, you've got... 66% apple juice concentrate, 22% apple puree concentrate, 10% st strawberry puree, 1% gelling agent, 1% rice flour, 1% sunflower oil, and that's it. They kind of just taste like Harry Bows. Like, if someone gave these to me and told me they were Harry Bows, actually, no, that's a lie. I would know they weren't Harry Bows. I would just think that they were like a little bit gone off or something. But like, I would still eat them. Like, they're kind of nice. For my dinner later, I've. Oh. I forgot I got that. Why did I get that? Oh, yeah. For my dinner later, I've got this stupid beef stew. I really wish I didn't get this because I just know it's going to be gross. Um, and I got this strawberry and apple puree, which will probably be okay. And then I got these um, bare organic dried fruit things. I know those will be nice because I've had them before. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you back at dinner when I'm eating those. Can't wait. Um... Listen, I'm not going to lie to you right now. It's actually the next day. I was doing stuff. I fell asleep. And now it's the next day. Um, Kind of forgot about my dinner. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Don't even worry about it. I've still got it. I've still got all the stuff. It's the morning of the next day. So do I really want to be eating baby beef stew for breakfast? Not at all. But here we are. I did this to myself. Also, I'm sorry if I'm low energy, but honestly, you wouldn't believe how much pain I'm in right now. My stomach, it feels like a volcano is about to erupt in one of my organs. Not sure which one, but like my stomach really hurts. But anyway, let's just hop right into this baby food beef stew. I'm just so excited. I can't wait. It's just, oh my word, I've just looked at it. It really genuinely for a real one does look like diarrhea. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Okay. After much consideration, I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes deciding whether I should eat that beef stew. And I've just decided it's really not worth it. I don't want to eat that beef stew. I just can't do that to myself. I really can't. So I'm just going to have the apple, um, apple and strawberry puree from Ella's Kitchen. And these poor things, the poor bear fruit things. So, sorry if you're disappointed in me, but honestly, I would rather, I would rather just bathe in disappointment than have that beef stew enter my body. So, yeah, sorry about it. Mmm. This is so much better than that beef stew would have been. Oh, I feel so nauseous. Okay, I'm just going to open this, eat these, and... Then I can, you know, move on with my day. Because, honestly, I feel like I'm going to be vomiting today. I can just feel it coming. After filming this video, I honestly have a newfound sympathy for babies. Because they can't choose what they eat. They have to eat what they're given. Otherwise, they'll literally starve to death. Because they can't go and get their own food. So, I'm sorry. But to any mothers out there 
who are planning on giving their baby this just please like reconsider that decision because it's kind of i would go as far to say as it's child abuse okay maybe i overstepped by saying it's child abuse but just think just pretend that your baby is you would you really eat this beef stew because i don't think you would so don't give it to your baby just give them these all right because these are nice and they're nutritious and a beef stew that doesn't have to be kept in the fridge that's not going to be nutritious is it so that was the last baby food item that i am going to ingest probably for a very long time i honestly have no desire to eat baby food ever again all i can say is i'm glad i'm not baby because bloody hell i would not want to eat those foods ever again to be honest especially the beef stew i know that i keep bringing up the beef stew i don't know like i just feel kind of personally offended by that beef stew like it's genuinely disgusting anyway i'm gonna go sleep or something because my stomach hurts so much that you wouldn't even believe and i have to work later so i want to have a nap but anyway yeah i hope you did enjoy this video if you did then please leave a like and also subscribe and comment if you want if you want to comment something go for it and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye